I hadn't been on the washer. I didn't realize how dirty it was. But dang, she was dirty. It's a whole different truck right now. I want to um, slide my tandems back, but this lot is so tight, and you can't. Uh, when you get in the row that I'm in, you need be, to be able to dump some bags or something in it. I, I don't have the bags hooked up on this thing. Be clean now, boy. Be clean now, boy. See, you think how how long you think it's gonna last? Cause it 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 just don't last like it used to. Uh, they said it's supposed to get rain up here Wednesday. And I don't know if uh, where I'm going to be come Wednesday, but I'm going to do some, some things different this week, change some stuff up. It's starting to feel human again. Finally, the cold's finally fully out of my system. I woke up uh, this morning and finally didn't feel just sick. You know, I've been feeling very, very sick and I didn't realize it had like pressure all over the top of my head and just craziness and uh i didn't realize it was that bad until i woke up this morning i'm like yo i'm back so now i'm ready to do to do to do to do to do now so we're gonna get some things fixed some things worked on we're gonna move some freight um i got some different content about the drop i got a new partnership i'm about to you know start putting some stuff out there uh, I got some new things I want to do. I want to talk to some people. I want to do some, like, you know, random just truck interviews with people, truck stops. Um, so, you know, look out for me. Be ready. Because I'm, 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 I'm going to just turn the camera on and we're going we gonna to be talking. So, if I know you or not. Um, so, I feel like I'm, I'm about to take this thing to the next level. We're going to have some fun out here, y'all. So, even though it's getting cold up here in the north, I'm still going to do it. So, it is what it is. And you ever just deal with some freight that you just can't shake? It's behind me. You know, been on me a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but it's trucking. I'm uh, actually losing money right now because of this. Um, a lot of these companies don't understand that. A lot of these brokers don't understand that. You know, the stupid layover pay 250, you know, 150, whatever um, you're getting or whatever they're willing to give doesn't make up for the difference, especially right now of the time and everything that you're losing. Um, I have a lot of things going on and a lot of different things I'm doing. And now you get stuck with this. Um, I've been been with it for a lot, a lot of days. But anyways, some of it was supposed to go, well, all of it was supposed to go to one place. Um, some stuff was misshipped. So instead of shipping it back, they said, hey, um, you know, they're like, well, you know, we'll pay you to take it back, basically, all the way back down to Florida. And I said, I, don't, I ain't doing that, you know. Um, so, anyways, they found somebody, you know, for it to go to. So, I'm like, cool, that's, that'll work. I get out of here last night, you know, to, you know, of course, we, you know, there's a renegotiation negotiation of what I, you know, of the pay. And um, so, I get out here last night, and I get here to deliver, you know, um, one o'clock is the appointment. Um, I um, check in stand in this line i wish I, I if i had thought about it i should have got a video of how bad the line was but i got into that office at like 11 45 and i don't think i fully checked in until about like one and my appointment was one but it doesn't didn't really matter because when i get to the counter the broker did not schedule me in for delivery so I didn't have like a delivery number that they they like or something like that. So, you know, it's one o'clock in the morning. You know those brokers ain't answering the phone. So I uh, had to wait till this morning. I call them this morning and they're, you know, I can't get the person that I've been working with. I can't get that person on the phone for the life of me. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm calling the whoever just to kind of get this thing started, get this thing figured out because, um, I'm like, dude, there's people here in the building and um, 
you know, I know their their receiving times so is only from like 10, uh, 11 o'clock at night until like six o'clock in the morning. But I'm like, man, there's people here, man. Y'all need to call somebody that y'all know, whatever. It's only uh, 14 pallets. It's like, man, just pull those 14 pallets off. And you know, y'all need to figure that stuff out on your own. Like instead of sticking me out here for a whole another day on this load, like I, I got things I gotta do. But I guess we'll see, you know? I mean, I, I took some time last night and and washed the truck and she looks, she looks good, real good. And, uh, but now I guess I'm just gonna have to go find some place to go eat breakfast. I don't know, because I'm sitting out here a whole nother day again. So we'll see how this all goes. I'll show y'all my, my dirty truck. Well, the broker finally hit me back. 2 a.m. tonight is when I finally can deliver this dang load. I wonder how much they're gonna give me for my layover. The good thing is, this is the this is why it's important to have work with the same brokers if you're gonna work with brokers and building a relationship. Because normally, most brokers are gonna try to give you like $150 and send you on your way. But if you've been working with them for a while and you, you know, have a built a relationship with them, things go a little differently. Um, what I was trying to do with them since I was stuck on it was, since, you know, when I got a hold of them, I didn't say this in the first part of the video, but this place that I'm going to, they do a lot of freight into this place. So what I was trying to do is trying to see if there was something else I can go pick up to add to it because it's only, it's only 14 pallets on there. So... I was trying to add to it to add more money to it so I could make more money tonight plus that layover you know so but anyways he put in that put in that work and he got me uh he got me 250 for the layover which I I can deal with that you know because it's like a 250 dollar layover you do a load for like 600 bucks you know or like a daily load or something like that it's pretty much what you're going to profit anyways after fuel and everything else so it's kind of nice to make a 250 and not do anything so um you know on top of everything else that's going on with this load um so now hopefully they'll actually unload me tonight and i can move on to the next steps but y'all gotta make sure if you're doing stuff with brokers try to work with the same ones try to build that relationship because that's that's in these times that's like the only way we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna survive and make money because they don't, the brokers honestly just don't care. You know, they don't. But if you have that relationship, it, it really helps get you to that next level and get you over those humps of the, the, the bull crap, you know, because, you know, I I couldn't get a hold of him this morning. So I was talking to um, other people. And I mean, the help that the regular brokers were giving me was crap, you know. But once I got him on the phone, he's on that computer while I'm on the phone with him, you know, and handling it. So, um, man. It don't matter who, who the broker is, C.H. Robinson, Coyote, uh, TQL, it don't matter. If you can figure out a way to work with somebody, you know, all the time and book through that person, you'll be a lot happier. So, let's see what happens tonight.